Can you just show your fingers a little bit to the camera? I got butter fingers. Got, I got butter fingers. <laughs> ah, butter fingers. Come pie. Welcome to What Would Tom Do? Presented by Metro. So, Tom, for this challenge, the chefs took a flavor trip to the Far East. Chefs, to celebrate the summer Tokyo games and Japanese tradition, each of you will be responsible for one dish in a six-course progressive kaiseki meal. We all went to the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. The chef testants cooked us a six-course kaiseki meal, which is all about seasonality, mm -hmm. incredible produce, and letting ingredients be in balance and in harmony. This is a kaiseki challenge. What yeah, would Tom so, do? so here's the deal. I've been to Japan a couple times. I, I love Japanese food, but I'm not a Japanese chef. So I take those Japanese ingredients and use them the way I would cook. That's kind of what I'm doing here. But today we're making king crab and uni. I've done a version of this crab and uni dish for probably 20 years now. So this is king crab because, you know, kaiseki, it's all about these great ingredients. There's nothing better to me than king crab or crab in general. Mm -hmm. So first, let's make a base for the crab. This is a little bit of white miso, butter, a little bit of lime. Okay. okay. Turn that on. Okay. What's the pinch of? Tiny touch of curry powder. Oh. Tiny. He's eaten but, half the crab that he's been chucking. And I love crab. So what we're gonna do is take our butter paste and then we're gonna put it in a pastry bag. And yep. No, just sponge. Get it in there. Yes, sir. Okay, so what we're gonna do with that, Take this. Oh, I can honestly say that I've never done this before. Okay. What are we doing? Okay, so we have a syringe full of soy butter. Yeah. And we are putting it inside the shell. Other side? Other side, okay. This is fun. So this is basically gonna baste. Yeah, it's gonna baste from inside the shell because we're gonna put this on the grill. Oh. Now we have our butter in the crab leg. Yeah. Okay. Separately, this is gonna be a quick little marinade. Those cute little enoki, right? Mm -hmm. And just a few of these. A little lime juice, a little bit of the white soy. The shoyu in Japanese. I show you, I show you. <laughs> You'll show me? I show you. And then a tiny bit of sesame oil, that's it. And that's gonna just marinate a little bit, right there. And then. Right, what are you putting on there? Bonito flakes? Bonito flakes, yeah. Bonito on that, just to get a little smoky flavor in the mushrooms. All right, so now we're gonna make the sauce for the onion. Okay, ginger. I'm gonna do something really cool with this, watch this. Okay, show me what you're gonna do. Oh! <gasps> okay, that's incredible. You made quick work of that ginger. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I've got ginger, mm -hmm. yuzu. Yuzu. I got some yuzu. sake, give me some sake in there. Yeah, how much? It's a little bit sweet, the sake, by the way. It's okay. The ginger together with that is gonna be fine. Tiny, tiny bit of the miso. Mm hmm And then. Um, oh, that's nice. This is uni. You're welcome. All right, let's heat up our uni sauce. Okay. What's the reason why you're putting the butter in piece by piece? If you put it in too much at one time, the butter's cold. Uh -huh. It'll drop the temperature and the sauce will break. It's essentially a beurre blanc, mm -hmm. only instead of shallots, wine and vinegar, we're using ginger, yuzu, and soy. So it's kind of like a Japanese beurre blanc, which is exactly what I'm talking about. Just taking the ingredients, but still doing a technique that I'm used to doing. You'll get a different flavor in there, mm -hmm. but I'm still cooking the way I know how to cook. Right. Now we're gonna poach the uni in the butter sauce. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Those little lobes of uni floating in their butter bath. Do you like that? Was it lyrical? Yeah, that, that was beautiful. Okay. Oh, we have binchotan. We have binchotan over there. We're gonna grill a crab on that. The crab's gonna go. Right onto the binchotan. Because it's in the shell. Right. You can just get it right in there. So what we have going on here now is the butter's coming out. It's all starting to steam in there nicely. Nice oh. and smoky. Mm. Oh, hi. Tom, what makes kaiseki so special? It was based on a tea ceremony. Mm. The food is very seasonal, and also the plates are seasonal. And some of the flowers and things like that that are part of the season, mm -hmm. they're used as garnish. Mm -hmm. but they want to bring nature into the dish. A little bit of mizuna. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to just do one of these mustards. And then a tiny drop of this chili oil. That's two. One. That's it. OK, that's very beautiful. I don't know if you can say kampai with food, but. 
Mm. The acid oh. on the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And the butter, it's thin. Yeah. It's not some thick, heavy butter sauce. No. Nothing's aggressive. Mm -hmm. That's part of Kaiseki too, is nothing should be really aggressive. It should be balanced. Wow, Tom. And that's how I make Japanese food. That's what I would do. <laughs> I feel like you may have a future with this cooking thing. Kampai. Oh my gosh, you. You. That's that. Mm. Okay, that was epic. That was amazing.